and we turn next to the huge blow tonight for the man who inspired millions by beating cancer and winning the Tour de France seven times. The biggest watchdog organization in sports announced late today that they now have cold, hard proof that Lance Armstrong was doping to win, which could cost him all his medals and his athletic future. Here's ABC's Neil Karlinski. For the first time, the nation's top cops for drugs in sport allege that Lance Armstrong cheated his way to a record seven Tour de France titles. U.S. anti-doping agency sources tell ABC News the case against Armstrong is among the strongest doping cases they've ever seen. In a letter sent to Armstrong, sources tell ABC News USADA claims to have blood samples collected in 2009 and 2010 proving that Armstrong was doping. The banned methods match allegations his former teammate and friend Floyd Landis told us exclusively in 2010. Did you see Lance Armstrong receiving transfusions? Yes. More than once? Uh, yes, multiple times. And you saw him using EPO? <clears throat> I had, yeah. Also received some from him. Yes, I saw Lance Armstrong using drugs. And Armstrong denies every bit of it, says he never doped, has never tested positive, and in a statement this afternoon says, these are the very same charges and the same witnesses that the Justice Department chose not to pursue after a two-year investigation. These charges are baseless, motivated by spite. That recently dropped federal investigation was not out to prove doping, but rather money laundering and conspiracy. If the new allegations are proven, Armstrong will be stripped of many or all of his record Tour de France wins. Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle.